Welcome back to my Slovenian kitchen. Today we are going to be making a very nostalgic Slovenian recipe that has been around for many generations. In Slovenian, we call them Janeževi Upogninci, and I would like to call them a cookie, but they're more of a crisp. The anise seeds that we're going to be adding to the top of them make them deliciously fragrant. They melt in your mouth, but they're brittle at the same time. They will be a hit with everyone. This recipe was passed down to me by my stada mama, and I am so happy to pass it along to you so you can enjoy them with your family too. Plus, if you haven't subscribed, please do so so you don't miss any of my new recipes. Are you ready? Let's get started. So to begin, we're going to need a kitchen scale and we're going to be weighing three whole eggs. Whatever the amount of these three eggs is, we're going to be weighing the same amount in flour. And now we're just going to measure out that flour to 145 grams. We're going to sift it and then we're going to set it aside. So three whole eggs was 145 grams, and now we're gonna be adding in one more egg. So the weight of four eggs, and that is the amount that we are going to measure and weigh for our sugar. And now we're just going to grate one tablespoon of lemon zest. We're gonna begin by incorporating all of our ingredients. Let's start with our four eggs and one tablespoon of lemon zest. We're also going to be adding on our sugar slowly and we're going to continue mixing it for about 10 minutes on medium until we get a really nice thick consistency. And this is what the consistency should look like after about 10 minutes of mixing. We're going to slowly start adding in our flour, two to three tablespoons at a time. And we're going to mix until it's all thoroughly combined. We want to make sure that we have a really nice, smooth consistency. Time to get them into the oven. I'm using a baking spray, you can use butter, you can also use parchment paper. And now we're just going to be placing one level teaspoon of the batter onto the prepared baking trays and just follow along to see how I'm actually placing them onto the tray. You can see that I'm not just dropping them on to the tray where they're gonna be in um, mounds. You wanna make sure that they're completely flattened, including the center because when they bake, they will spread and they will kind of uh, fluff up in the center. If it's too mounted in the center, the cookie won't be able to form into that arch shape that we're looking for. Now we're just gonna sprinkle on our anise seeds. You can use as little or as much as you like. I don't like to put on too much, just enough to give you that delicious, fragrant flavor. We're just going to place them onto the middle rack in a preheated 325 degree oven, and we're going to bake them for seven to eight minutes, just until you get that beautiful brown edge around the sides of the cookie. We're also gonna make sure that we have all of our glasses ready to go, because as soon as they come out, we're going to have to work very quickly. You're going to use a spatula, and then you're going to shape them quickly and place them into the glasses so you can get that beautiful arched look. 
One very important tip is you want to make sure that you have the glasses close enough to the oven and if they do harden up on you, not to worry. You can just place them, the tray back into the oven and then leave them in there for a few seconds until they soften up again and then just quickly bring them out and place them into the cups. You want to leave them in the cups to form for about 45 seconds to a minute. And when making the next batch, you need to ensure that the baking tray has cooled down and also make sure that it is buttered each time. Thank you so much for joining me in my Slovenian kitchen today. If you enjoy my videos, please give me a great big thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notification every time I post a new recipe. See you again next time when I share another delicious recipe from my Slovenian kitchen. Until then, na zdravje and dobrotek. Adio!